The Artemis 1 moon rocket still on track to launch off Florida's coast tomorrow afternoon after it was scrubbed Monday over technical issues. Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist John Gahn is watching the weather to see if the launch will get the all clear. But we begin with James Sparvero from our sister station in Orlando with the latest from NASA today. With all systems go toward the countdown on Saturday, Artemis 1 mission manager is giving us an update on the all hands on deck approach towards finally launching the space launch system. We got a really busy afternoon moving everything into final launch configurations. Going into tomorrow and the day of launch, activities pick up really early. By 5.30 Saturday morning, NASA says it will know if SLS is ready to begin the fueling. Tanking problems back on Monday contributed to challenges that ultimately scrubbed the first launch attempt. Now NASA says the crews found the source of that new hydrogen leak and fixed it. The launch team is very confident. Administrator Bill Nelson and other NASA managers also say Monday's engine cooling problem was caused by a bad sensor reading of the temperature, and in fact, liquid hydrogen was flowing correctly. NASA says the crews will begin chilling the engines 30 or 45 minutes earlier than they did on Monday, which will be around 8 o'clock Saturday morning. The weather continues to still look pretty good for the launch attempt on Saturday. If the weather or more technical problems keep the rocket grounded through Tuesday, NASA says SLS will have to roll back to the vehicle assembly building, causing longer delays. Right now, NASA is staying optimistic about Saturday. And if everything sticks to the plan, you can join our live New 6 team coverage once again here at the Kennedy Space Center starting Saturday at noon. Watch with us on ClickOrlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. Chief Meteorologist John Gunn, they are pretty optimistic about this launch. Is the weather really shaping up in their favor? You know, we really don't know what their criteria is. This is their first launch, and I think being their first launch, they're going to be very, very, well, ginger in terms of their challenges that they're going to decide whether or not to launch or not. In other words, they may or may not do it because of the fact that the cloud cover may be thicker than we would anticipate for a regular launch, let's say for a Falcon 9, which would probably go up no matter what. So it's, I would probably say the odds of it being scrubbed because of weather are higher than what you're hearing right now. I was just trying to make it a, a nice, pleasant way of saying I don't think it's going to play out as well as they had hoped. Look at the forecast. This is for tomorrow afternoon. A lot of clouds cover. Showers will be near us. High probability of launch, yes, but decent viewing here for us. There will be these high clouds around and those showers. So it looks to me that the better chances of a scene will be right there near Flagler and right, of course, near the Cape. Part of the problem is, is what we're seeing here tonight. We have rain showers across the area. Those showers are producing these overhang clouds. And if they do develop again tomorrow in the wake of some morning showers, and I think that's a possibility down there near the Cape as well, then we'll have to we'll learn a lot more about what they have to say and do when it comes to the Artemis and their criteria after they finally do launch. I do think, Joy, they are going to be very gentle in terms of how they handle the launch, and they may, in fact, scrub it again. Their next date is what, Joy? You're going to talk about in a second. Monday. Monday, Labor Day. So you might think that might be better, and the weather should be better then. John, thank you. Folks, if you want to watch the launch live, News for Jack's anchors Janice Harris and meteorologist Danielle Giuliano, they'll bring it to you live right here on the local station. You can also watch it for free on newsforjacks.com or the News for Jacks Plus app. Liftoff set for 2.17 tomorrow afternoon.